2012 Metro Council meeting. These are the announcements. Um, we'll get started if anybody has an announcement. Council Member Weiner. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like everybody in the Bellevue community to mark your calendars for Bellevue Cleanup Day, October the 6th at Gower Elementary School on Old Hickory Boulevard from 8 in the morning until noon. We are going to be checking your license to make sure you're a Bellevue resident if you're going to shred or if you're going to go to the roll-off bins because of limited capacity. We will also be offering for everyone shredding, I'm sorry, emissions, tag renewals. We'll be having the cell phone for soldiers drop-off as well as the prescription drug drop-off. So check your local papers. We'll have a lot more information and we look forward to seeing you on October 6th. Secondly, this coming Saturday from 9 until 10 at the Hampton Inn on Coley Davis will be the Saturday office hours for me and that's the Saturdays with Sherry and come join this growing group to have great discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember. Councilmember Langster. Thank you, Mr. President. I have some very exciting news for District 21 as well as the entire city, the entire state. The 28th, 31st Avenue Connector is ready. We're going to cut the ribbon October 2nd at 11 a.m. at the 28th, 31st Avenue uh, right on the connector. Please come, everyone. This is something that has been talked about in our district since about 1983, 85, 88. Anyway, this mayor said it would happen. It has happened, and it's ready. I am so proud, and as you can tell, I'm so excited about this ribbon cutting. Also, there are two important people who um, are celebrating a birthday, September 20th. One is my brother, Metro Police Officer Wallace H. Taylor. I'd like to tell him happy birthday, and the other, is the Honorable Mayor Carl Dean. It is his birthday, September 20th, and we wish both of these gentlemen a very happy uh, birthday. Um, also, a previous birthday that took place last week was Councilman Frank Harrison, September the 10th, and we know he had a very special day. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Council Member. Councilman Pridemore. Thank you, Pro Tem. I uh, just want to make uh, people in Madison aware that uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of them are aware that we had some vandalism uh, over the weekend at the Madison uh, uh, Little League Park, and uh, there was about five, six thousand dollars of of damage done to the park. And they have uh, uh, the Little League Association has set up a fund at the Regions Bank in Madison to uh, accept any donations to help. Uh, rebuild the park. They are having a um, several instances of uh, vandalism, so we're trying to resolve that, and they, they want to get going and get the kids playing some fall ball. So uh, Regions Bank in, in Madison, thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Pridemore. Councilmember Pardue. Thanks, sir. I'd just like to remind everyone of the 6th Annual Metropolitan Police Department Talent Showcase. It's the 25th of September at B.B. King's Club. All of the, the proceeds goes to the uh, Nashville Children Alliance, and every penny of that money does go to the Alliance. Uh, it's a $15 ticket, and it's well worth the money. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Harmon. Thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to announce that uh, there will be a Paragon Mills community meeting uh, this Saturday, September 22nd, from 10 to noon at the Paragon Mills Elementary School. And I would encourage those residents of Paragon Mills to come out and uh, have a good discussion with us. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Anthony Davis. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, a couple quick announcements. This Thursday, September 20th, uh, we'll be having our Rosebank neighborhood meeting. Uh, that'll be at 6.30 p.m. this Thursday, September 20th, at the uh, Memorial Lutheran Church, which is on Riverside Drive uh, in East Nashville. 
the following Tuesday, September 25th, uh, there's a big event every year called the Taste of Madison, and uh, this will be held at Goodlitzville School Tuesday, September 25th at 5 p.m. Uh, lots of food and different vendors and that sort of thing, so please join us for the Taste of Madison, Goodlitzville, next Tuesday uh, at 5 p.m. And then the follow that Thursday, September 27th at 10.30 a.m., uh, we'll be having a dedication at Lytton Middle School. Uh, the mayor will be joining us and other folks coming out to dedicate the new renovation at Lytton Middle. That's Tuesday the 27th at 10.30 in the morning. So if you're available, please join us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Council Member Sandra Moore. Thank you, Chair. I appreciate it. I have two announcements. Uh, the 12 South Concert Series will be at Severe Park uh, on September the 22nd. And uh, for those persons that uh, it starts around 6 o'clock. And for those persons that who are listening in District 17, please go and support the 12 South Concert Series. Uh, also, there is going to be October the 6th. That'll be the last one uh, from the email that I received. So again, September the 22nd, this Saturday, the 12 South uh, Concert Series. It's really nice to go out and, and fellowship with your neighbors. The other announcement that I have comes from Fort Negley Visitor Center. It's called P Photography at the Fort. And it'll be Saturday, September the 29th, from 10 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. And it said discover the wet plate process and demonstrations, learn the basics of 19th century photography. For those persons that are interested, please, please, September the 29th, uh, go out and support the Fort Negley Visitor Center. And uh, I'm quite sure this is very, very interesting. And also th those in the viewing audience from District 17, please go out and support what we have uh, at Fort Negley. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Councilmember Johnson. Thank you, President Todd. Uh, District 29, uh, again, I would like to um, remind you that my office hours are this Saturday, uh, September 22nd from 10 to 12 noon at First Tennessee Bank, Nashboro Village location off of Murfreesboro Road. Also happening on this same day, which I will join everyone in the earlier part of that morning, from 8 to noon, Hands on Nashville um, is again having Hands on Nashville Day to help our public schools. And our area project site for our area is Antioch High School. So please come out and help with the projects that uh, Antioch High School has expressed that they need help with. Um, and I look forward to seeing as many neighbors out there as possible. Also Thursday, uh, next Thursday, September 27th, the Planning Commission meeting uh, with the public hearing for the rezoning of the property off of Moss Springs and Blue Water and Moss Landing Drive is at 4 o'clock p.m. at 700 Second Avenue South. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Bedney. Thank you, Chair. Um, well, this is a busy month on District 31. Uh, we are having a cleanup on September 22nd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And this will be in the area where the Star Neighborhood Association is. And we will be meeting at the end of Oshlon Drive. Uh, so I hope that if you live in that area, that you will join us uh, with it. Now, to celebrate the cleanup, you might want to go to the uh, Lenox Village Area Business Association, the Great Food Truck Festival. We're going to have all these food trucks that are going to come to the Lenox Village area. And that will be also on September 22nd from 5 p.m. to 1 p.m. It's a great opportunity. We have lots of shopping opportunities in the district. And uh, if you live in the area, I hope that you will join us. And if you live outside the area, come on by and spend some money in District 31. Um, on Saturday, December, September 29th, there is going to be a, a big uh, cleanup uh, for the southeast Davidson County area. And that's going to be from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And uh, it's going to be, it's a tradition in the southeast. We work on all the area around uh, the crossings, what used to be the Hickory Hollow Mall. And we're going to meet at the old Best Buy parking lot 
and, and get to business. Uh, on October 4th, we're having a community meeting at the Maxwell Elementary uh, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. And we are going to have people from Metro Schools to come in and talk to us about, about schools, some of the questions that the community has. And we're also going to have somebody from the South Precinct to come talk to us about police issues. I want to... Uh, I want to wish all my Jewish friends a Shana Tova, a happy Jewish New Year, and to my Latino friends a happy Hispanic Heritage Month. And uh, thank you very much, Chair. Thank you. Councilman Claiborne. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I uh, wanted to remind folks in the, uh, the Donaldson area, uh, this uh, coming Saturday, uh, we'll be having a, uh, an event at Two Rivers Middle School. The Donaldson Gateway Project is working uh, in cooperation with the HIP Donaldson uh, group. We're doing uh, uh, landscaping at uh, the entrance and exit to the drive and also to the front of the building at Two Rivers Middle School. And so bring a pair of gloves, uh, bring a shovel, uh, and be prepared to work for a couple hours as we put this uh, plant material in the ground to beautify that location. And then the following Saturday, on the 29th, uh, the Gateway Project will be having a, uh, a fall maintenance day at all of our five locations. And so uh, whichever of those five locations is closest to you, feel free to show up at 8 o'clock again with gloves and with a shovel and uh, be prepared to pull some weeds and uh, spread some uh, pine straw and to uh, get our uh, beautification sites um, on the Donaldson perimeter ready for the, uh, the winter weather. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Potts. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem. Just want to remind the residents of District 30, we have Hands on Nashville Day this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Haywood Elementary School. So if you have time, come on out and join us. Uh, we have over 200 volunteers already uh, volunteer for the project. We'd love to have you. Uh, if you have any questions, just call me at 491-6857. We'd love to see you there. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Bennett. Thank you, President Pro Tem. Uh, congratulations on your election as well. Oh, Appreciate you. I'm sure you're going to do a great job this year. Got several things to announce. Uh, we have on September the 20th in District 8, that is a Thursday, we are going to meet and discuss some development that's uh, possibly coming in in the Due West Dickerson Road area. That will be at 6 p.m. at the Skyline Hospital Auditorium B in the downstairs. Also on Monday, September the 24th at 6 p.m., we will be meeting at the English Inglewood United Methodist Church, and we will be concerning the state property there uh, at Saunders Lane, Saunders Court, and Hart Lane. Uh, the state is going to build some things there and just want the community to be aware of what's going on. We'd love to have you at Inglewood United Methodist Church. It is at the corner of Gallatin Road and Hart Lane. Also, on Saturday the 22nd, Madison will be having the Madison Gala at the uh, Amquis Station. It begins at 6 p.m. It is $125 a person, but it is in support of Discover Madison and the Amquis Station in improving that area. We'd love to have you join us, and you can go to our website if you would like additional information. You can go to the Madison Chamber, Madison Rivergate Chamber, or Discover Madison Incorporated on the web. Also, I believe Council Member uh, Davis announced that on September the 25th, we will have the Taste of Madison. It begins at 5 p.m. at Good Pasture. I believe the cost at the door is $12. Great way to experience a lot of the Madison food and lots of prizes, lots of good door prizes. So come out and join us. It's a good time. Uh, very last thing we have on September the 29th, Amqui Station will be having its Hobo Ball, which is a really fun time at Amqui. Bring the kids. You can dress like a hobo and the, and the whole... Uh, train theme and we're going to roast marshmallows and hot dogs and beans and just have a goofy fun time with the kids. Give them an opportunity to dress up and see a little bit of our train history that we have in Nashville. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you. Councilman Dominey. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tim. Got a couple of things to announce. Um, 
First of all, the folks, uh, as you well know, there's been an issue over the last few years about the fairgrounds and what's going on there. And there is a public meeting regarding the phase two of the master plan process, which will take place on October 1 from 5 until 8 p.m. at the Knoll Center there on the fairgrounds property right at the end of Wedgwood. Uh, hope folks can come out and participate in that. It's a come and go kind of thing. It's not a whole three hour event. It's just come in and spend the time you want to have input and get provide your input in the process. Also, I want to announce uh, there's a brand new program just started today by the state. Um, it's Tennessee Stars. It's a college 529 savings plan for families. And for as little as $50, you can start, or as little as $25, you can start a savings plan for college students or soon to be college students uh, for your children. And they even have a match going on right now for the first $50 you put into the program. They'll, the state will match that with $50. There's a way to get an extra free $50. Participate. To get more information on that, you can go to tnstars.com. And that's a program in instituted by the state of Tennessee. And they follow phone number for that is toll-free 855-386-7827. And the, the next thing I have to point out, it, it was with great pleasure, I would like to introduce uh, the brother of a former mayor of Nashville, Boyd Fulton is here. He's going to introduce the commander of a ship that's docked down here at Riverfront Park that everybody ought to go participate. It's a World War II ship. And uh, Boyd Fulton, would you like to introduce Commander? Thank you, Councilman. It's indeed a pleasure, as always, for me to visit with Metro Council, the leading legislative body of any city in the country, obviously, Nashville Music City, USA. I am so thrilled to be a small part of the group of volunteers that brought this vessel to Nashville and to allow you the privilege of hearing firsthand from the ship's captain it's awesome history. An opportunity for all of Nashville and Middle Tennessee to walk on the decks of history is just, we feel very blessed to have had this happen. Captain Robert Jordan, give him a hand, please. Here's the city welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's uh, certainly a, a great pleasure to be here and an honor. Uh, as he said, we're down at River, Riverfront Park, and uh, this ship was one that the uh, crazy guys brought back from Greece, if you remember, in uh, 2001. Uh, my crew was av average age 72. Uh, this ship was one of the first ones built to, uh, to combat Japan and, and, the, and the Germans all at the same time, and uh, it uh, was built late, in, or, yeah, late in 1942. Went over to Med in, in 43 in March. Went into Sicily with Patton and Montgomery uh, in July 10th of 43. And I uh, also got into Salerno invasion and then it went to uh, Normandy on June 6, 1944. Made 43 more trips across the channel to uh, England and back bringing gasoline for Patton and food and ammunition for people. So I, I want to welcome everybody and, and encourage everybody to come down and see a real historic veteran of World War II. Uh, it's practically original because the Greek Navy had it for the last 35 years. They used it just like we did. Uh, so it has had very little change. We got the 40s and the 20 millimeters on board. You might have heard the 40s. We, uh, we shot at the Andrew Jackson uh, this morning we missed, but uh, <laughs> uh, everything on there, uh, you, you'll see the tank deck, uh, the troop berthing, you'll see what it was like in 1942, no air conditioning. And uh, I know everybody will enjoy it. We had uh, 500 people on board today, and as you know, we, we didn't get here yesterday, so it was kind of like we weren't here today. But uh, we did get in late last night. Uh, very sorry about that. We had a fuel problem, and uh, we anchored out at uh, 176 mile marker for about uh, 10 hours or 12. No, so, well, oh, the hours were open. And it will be open from uh, nine to five every day. We are open till five. Some confusion on that. Uh, some said we close at four, so we get everybody out by five. But we stay there till six. I mean, 
And anybody that comes at five gets to see the ship, no problem. So, great. We'll be here till Tuesday morning. We're going to leave early Tuesday morning, uh, the 25th. So, great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Councilman Dominic, do you have anything else? Or I just want to thank you, thank you for the opportunity to, to have them speak. And I hope everybody watching out in Must See 3 TV land will go down and participate. The cost is $5 for children, $10 for adults, and $20 for a family to, to, to go on a piece of living history in a, a literally floating museum. Go down and participate, study our history, and look at what's taken place and honor our military that served. I spoke to a gentleman there that actually served and actually was 89 years old as a volunteer crewman for that ship ship today and hopefully we'll folks go down and participate and thank you to our military for their service to this country. Thank you. That concludes our announcements for tonight. Thank you.